I begin by introducing myself to the patient and greet politely. I confirm the patient's full name and date of birth to ensure correct identification. Next, I explain the procedure in simple terms and check for consent. I also ask about any allergies. Once everything is clear, I inform the patient that I will prepare the necessary equipments before beginning the blood taking process. Uh, so now I will get the and we start to let me. Thank you. I begin by sanitizing my hands before approaching the patient to ensure proper hand hygiene. Next, I clean the tray. I ensure all necessary equipments are prepared. Then, I place the items. There are alcohol swab, tourniquet, shrink, needle, plaster, and gauze. Next, I put on a pair of clean gloves to maintain hygiene and prevent cross-contamination. First, I ask for the patient's preferred arm and ensure it's suitable for venipuncture. I place a pillow under the selected arm for support. Then, I inspect the arm for a suitable vein, apply the tourniquet to enhance vein visibility and palpate the vein to confirm its position. So, for this patient, I chose medial cubital vein. Next, I clean the skin over the selected vein using an alcohol swab, moving in a single outward circular motion. I allow the area to dry completely before proceeding to maintain a septic technique. Next, I unsheath the needle and attach it securely to the shrink. I remove any air from the shrink to avoid injecting air into the vein. Then, I gently pull the skin below the insertion site and warn the patient. I insert the needle at an angle of 30 degrees or less with the bevel facing upwards. Once I see a backflow of blood, I advance the needle slightly, about 1 to 2 mm, into the vein. Then, I gently pull back the shrink plunger to draw the required amount of blood. Next, I release the tourniquet, withdraw the needle and immediately apply gentle pressure to the puncture site using gauze. And after applying firm pressure to the puncture site for a few minutes, I place a plaster to protect the area and promote healing. I safely dispose of the used needle into the sharp bin and all other waste into the clinical waste bin. Lastly, I remove my gloves and discard them into the clinical waste bin, ensuring proper disposal to maintain hygiene and safety. Finally, I thank the patient and let her know that the procedure is complete. I check if she's feeling okay and explain the next steps regarding the blood sample. Thank you, Miss Andrew. So, let's complete the procedure. Are you feeling okay? Yes. Great. So, now I'm going to send your blood sample off the lab. And the result will be back with this shortly. Thank you.